I'm telling you guys right now, man, this hitter's method is absolutely flawless. You guys are going to be hitting nothing but dangers using this method. YouTube, what's going on? Mike Swingman here giving you guys a video. Today's video, we're going to go over the best settings uh, for your PCI, best sliders, and not only that, best practice method that almost makes it similar to what my hitter hack video was last year, but it could make you very effective and more efficient when it comes to hitting. Let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is uh, you're going to go over to the main menu. Okay, You're going to go to the top section right here is, is called settings. You know, top right, right next to the creates uh, tab. Uh, you're going to go over to sliders. With the sliders piece, you're going to go all the way down to, I would say, fast pitch or fastball pitch speed. You're going to go all the way up with it. Um, and not only that, you're going to leave, uh, you could leave off speed pitch uh, defaulted. Uh, I know I've seen guys do that too. I've seen guys that also go back. Some even go forward. You could go fast with it as well. Like, you know, early is better. So personally, what I like to do is I like to do it both. Because I'd rather be early than late. I've noticed that when you're late in this game, for some odd reason, it doesn't reward you as much. So we're going to go both up on off-speed pitch speed and fastball pitch speed. All right, so when it comes to the actual PCI settings of your batter, uh, me personally, I've always been a fan of the just bat piece on the PCI center. Um, I've noticed in this game, however, I've been really efficient and really... Um, consistent on hitting the ball hard, especially perfect perfects with just diamonds. Uh, that's my personal opinion, but my approach when it comes to when I get you know later on in difficulty, um, especially Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame I like to do diamonds and maybe wedge, or even in 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 legend I'll just either do diamonds or or yet legend I like to use the bat. I don't know why, but. That is what I personally use. It makes me better. Uh, I, maybe it's just because of the placement or it makes me really focus and lock in um, and find the, the pitch spin of the ball. But this is something that I personally use. If you have a PCI setting that works best for you, go for it. This is what helps me and it's a good stepping stone to help you guys as well. But personally, I've noticed so far using the Show 24 Diamonds is the best settings. All right, guys, now diving into the custom practice piece um when it comes to the settings piece i missed one key aspect that i forgot to tell you guys um my personal opinion on this okay if you are a person that struggles in hall of fame and is always an all-star what i highly recommend is you go always go one difficulty up okay um and the reason why for that is because you're practicing you're practicing yourself to be better in that next level than where you're at now. So for me personally, I always get to, I would say the World Series, so I'm always on legend. Now, if you're an all-star and, tr and struggle on Hall of Fame, I would do, you know, Hall of Fame. Um, if you're a person on, you know, that struggles and I would say maybe, you know, veteran and you struggle on all-star, then go all-star um, and vice versa, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go legend here, okay? Uh, that's what we're gonna do personally now when it comes to the practice type okay this is something that i've noticed from a lot of players that don't do well in the game is that they do really well when it's like righty on lefty or lefty on righty they really struggle when they're facing the same side pitching and hitting they struggle lefty on left or righty on right so what i personally do and what i'm a big advocate for is that i practice on my weakness Okay. Now with these new settings for pinpoint this year, especially with that new sinker settings for pinpoint, uh, you're going to see a lot of guys that are going to really struggle with that pitch. Because this year is probably the first year where pitching will matter. And if you are not good at pitching, it will show in the game. This is my approach that I'm going to tell you guys do, to do. Uh, I'm going to take myself out really quick. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to put all of the fastball stuff up okay so i got sinker i got cutter i got four seam we're gonna get rid of the circle change because i feel like the circle change is actually one of the easiest pitches to hit it's usually when we miss the sinker cutter or four seam that this circle change can be tough but you know my personal opinion if you struggle with the circle circle change then 
put it up to 50. That's fine. What you really want to focus on is more horizontal break pitches. That, I'll be honest with y'all. That is the toughest pitch to hit because we'll be honest, you know, especially with those uh, thumbs going down, especially when you're pulling those thumbs down that analog stick, man, it's really tough. So personally, always have, you know, your horizontal pitches more in this mode than ever before. But when you go to pitch location, this is where it's huge. Always keep it on the outside portion. If you want to keep it in the middle, that's fine. Even though I think you really shouldn't because most of the guys are going to be pitching in these zones. Now, if you got a guy that just throws down the middle, well, hey, there's no point of watching this video because you're going to just be hitting dingers. Anyway, keep it on the outside and inside. Um, me personally, that's the best option to go with. Now, when you're in the mode and you're hitting, uh, me personally, I like to place my PCI high and inside portion of the plate. Helps me kind of see the ball better, especially when it comes down to seeing the pitch speed, recognizing the pitch spin and the speed. You're not going to be perfect at this, and it's fine. You're not going to be, the, you know, the greatest, but it's a great way to practice. All right. But what I really focus on a lot is that I really try to firstly try to place my PCI up where my where the pitcher's head is. And I try to find that slot. Once I find that slot, that's where I really focus my eyes on and try to recognize the spin. Because if you can recognize the spin of the pitch, I mean, you're going to be dominant in this game. I mean, there is sequencing in, in regards to timing, you know, especially with the leg kicks and all that. But what I've noticed, especially when it comes down to what really dictates, you know, good players from, I would say, amateur players, is definitely understanding the spin of the baseball. Okay. Another big aspect, guys, when it comes down to hitting is really being aware of your weakness, man. Okay. A lot of guys will say, you know, well, like nothing works. Nothing does it. You know, I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, yet if you're struggling with that low and away cutter, work on that low and away cutter. Understand what your opponents throw to you. Instead of trying to like look for a pitch for yourself, try to hit those pitches that you see all the time. I see players all the time that are very... You know, very patient, and it's a good it's a good thing. If you're dis disciplined and you have a good eye, that's one thing. But I've also seen guys struggle because they purposely try to take too much in this game. And when they actually get a good pitch, they let it go. And then all of a sudden, you get the bad pitch that's really tough to hit. And then they get out. So if you see a good pitch, crush it. Don't take it, you know, take advantage of that pitch. Because I'm telling you right now, when you face good players... That's, you'll get one or two of those opportunities where they'll throw that pitch and you can, you get to crush it. So just an FYI, you see that pitch, crush it. This video helped you guys out. Be sure to like the video. And not only that, share this video around the community. Um, it, you know, my intentions of these videos is to help those that are really struggling in regards to the hitting aspect of this game. Um, so I really appreciate if you guys like this video helped with the algorithm a little bit. And not only that, share this video to a person that has really struggled hitting in the show 24. Also, subscribe to the channel. Um, and hit those bell notifications buttons so that you guys are also notified for any future uploads of this channel. I'll be doing a lot of new uh, swing reports, swing scouting reports, and doing uh, car reviews uh, throughout the year. So... Stay tuned to that. But also, I will be also doing a pitching video coming out soon on learning on how to be an effective pitcher in this game. This is Mike Swingman wishing you guys the best for the new show 24. Wish you guys nothing but per perfects and pinpoint pitching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.